Hey, what's going on there guys? Earthmaster here. March 11th, 2018, 26 p.m. here, Pacific time. Lost in uh, an hour of uh, uh, nighttime, I guess, last night. We had to spring forward one hour, so 2.26 p.m. now. Taking a look uh, once again here at the Earthquake 3D Globe, uh, most recent earthquakes there. From uh, USGS, also the EMSC and GeoNet uh, data servers are all included in the Earthquake 3D Globe. Uh, also, live look at Yellowstone National Park at Old Faithful Geyser. Uh, you get to see that thing uh, shoot off every so often. I'm not for sure the uh, time interval on it, but uh, definitely pretty cool to check out. Looks like some cloud cover, overcast skies at the moment there in the uh, state of Wyoming. Also, uh, above that, we have a live seismograph station of Yellowstone uh, itself up there near uh, Madison, uh, kind of like towards the northwest corner of the park is where that uh, seismograph station is located, a uh, place where, where we've seen uh, quite a bit of uh, earthquake swarm activity in the past. So I kind of keep that one up there just to ensure, uh, you know, an eye on the sky, so to speak, or an eye on the seismograph station, so to speak, in this case. A lot of activity going on here in California today, uh, quite a bit, actually. So I'm going to cover that uh, specifically. For the most part, uh, most of it's right close to, if not on, the San Andreas Fault System. Most recent little earthquake, uh, looks like the Bay Area just had a little bitty one. Um, didn't see that earlier, but it looks like a 1.3. And once again, this area where this activity is taking place is on the northern section of the Calaveras Fault section. Uh, right there where it kind of ends, and you got the Hayward Fault down here off to the side. Um, and those two somewhat intertwine each other underneath the ground. Uh, not for sure exactly if it's been confirmed or not. But anyway, this here is a dangerous section here uh, where there's been, a, it's basically a high risk area. And uh, so we keep an eye on that whenever something pops up there. We did see a little swarm of activity there over the past couple weeks, quieted down for the past couple days. And now uh, looks like there may be a little bit more activity picking up there as well. Um, and also another uh, area we're watching here, just south of that region there, near Gilroy and Hollister, California. Uh, very close to the San Andreas Fault section. I'll show you that uh, specific section here in a minute. But uh, you can see the activity, the blue square, um, just north of Hollister and a little bit of activity south of there as well near San Benito, California. Uh, I did watch when this came in, it was a back-to-back -back earthquake, double spike earthquake, a 3.4 and a 3.0 respectfully occurring right after uh, one another right there near Hollister, California, uh, 3.4 being the first one at a depth of 1.9 miles. See that right there, depth 1.9 miles. And the one that occurred just shortly thereafter, I'm talking mere seconds afterwards, uh, the 3.0 occurring just 1.7 miles below the surface of the earth so roughly around the same depth uh, depth below the surface and um, yeah so definitely keep an eye on that uh, area uh, southern california as well has been having a little bit of activity down here uh, you can see also down in the baja california region as well stretching down there uh, this blue one here south of the border mexican uh, border 3.2 occurring near this uh, specific situation right or a specific city or area that I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce uh, Southern California still lighten up which is not abnormal um, here's that 3.4 right here on this map check this out here now this is kind of in an area we, we kind of like to watch because we've seen earthquake swarms in the past near the Salton Sea region and there's been a lot of scientific study down here where the uh, San Andreas Fault System runs, this area right here, it ends for the most part, right? That's what they're stating, the, uh, the uh, ge geologists and professional professional people. Uh, but anyway, this is an area to watch and, uh, you know, for any kind of activity, especially uh, around here where it ends. I know this is just off to the west a certain distance there, but it's still an area we want to watch whenever we see activity occur in that region of the state there especially around the san andreas fault system this was at six miles below the surface that uh, 3.4 earthquake near the salton sea region here's a better look at the uh, fault system here uh, i can see that 3.4 that we were just looking at near the salton sea right you got the southern end of the san andreas fault system right here 
Uh, and this here is the Brawley. What is it? Bra? Let me see real quick here. Imperial Fault. So it, it basically ends right there at the San Andreas or the uh, Salton Sea region. But you also got this new section right here. Pretty sure they just recently added that. The Brawley, Brawley Seismic Zone. Because I don't remember seeing that there before. I remember there was some uh, uh, study on that. I'll have to go back and look and see if I can find the article in regards to this, uh, to them actually uh, adding that onto the map there uh, with some new studies uh, being observed in that fault system right there. But anyway, that 3.4 is just over here to the west near the San Juanito San Juanito fault zone. Um, and like I said, there's a complex system of faults over there, guys. It's just you know you got the north american plate over here to the right and the uh, pacific plate over here to the west and you know they they grind and and go at it together and then it just uh it's a it's a spider web of fault systems you can follow this dark red line all the way up into uh central california near soledad salinas santa cruz bay region uh, you got the san joaquin valley and the sacramento valley up here to the north but uh, here's these Hollister earthquakes that we were talking about just a few minutes ago. Uh, 3.4 and 3.0 occurring once again on the Calaveras Fault Zone. This here is the southern section. Now I know we were talking about and watching and paying attention to the northern section as well. Um, up here a little ways. That's the area that's in the high risk zone. But either way, these are dangerous fault systems right here. Uh, the Calaveras and also the Hayward fault system as well which is right up here where they say extends into one another and it looks like they did update the map a little bit there to include uh, where they might uh, uh, entwine so to speak under the ground but uh, yeah like I say a lot of activity occurring in California right now nothing big nothing major but definitely an uptick so to speak uh, like I said, this, these two earthquakes, the 3.0 and the 3.4, that occurred back to back uh, of each other, right on, right, just right off. I'm talking just right off the uh, southern section of the Calaveras Fault Zone, right there. Pretty close to the uh, airport down there, Hollister uh, Municipal Airport. So, definitely a lot of activity, folks, in California, and uh, definitely keep an eye on it. Looks like Yellowstone National Park was having a little couple spikes there earlier you can see uh, the activity uh, occurring kind of closer if you look here a little bit closer to the more uh, central central region of the park uh, before we had seen the earthquake swarm activity occur basically epicenter within this area I'm talking Maple Creek was the epicenter region of the uh, earthquake swarm activity now what we're seeing is a migration of the earthquake swarm activity kind of looks like it's going towards the southeast a little bit over in the direction of Lake Yellowstone um, I'm gonna have to take a look and see if I can't pull up a specific station uh, to get a uh, better reading on this here since it is migrating a little bit you can see it definitely kicking up a lot earlier uh, way earlier this morning it looks like but uh, that's not magma movement. It's not magma intrusion. It's not the magma chamber being squeezed and and gonna explode. Okay, it's not that, folks. Please don't believe the fear mongering out there on YouTube, or Twitter, or Facebook. Okay, don't listen to the fear mongers. They want they want hot votes. They want hot views. They want to bring in tons of subscribers and put the fear of 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 fear in you. Basically, trying to scare you to death. Uh, into tuning into their channel that way uh, you'll know when Yellowstone's gonna blow because they say it and their word is true it's false they're false preachers and they're false uh, you're just fear mongers I have no problem uh, uh, stating that publicly at all they want to fear 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 so anyway guys <laughs> before I get off my rocker uh, there's, you know, like I said, we're going to watch this because it is migrating a little bit. This is mostly, I believe, and looking at these graphs, uh, purely tectonic in nature. I may pull up Yellowstone uh, or uh, Lake Yellowstone seismograph station because it looks like it's pretty close in there as well. Also, some interesting measurements here uh, being picked up here uh, as well. But this is not, I believe, not believe, I do not believe this is any type of. Uh, uh, 
magma movement or anything like that, folks. Just basically uh, could be uh, interference or whatnot. But we'll take a look at that a little bit, be a little bit better detail uh, when I pull up a station for Lake Yellowstone and monitor it. Like also over here in uh, Old Faithful, it's very possible these guys may have adjusted the readings or the uh, sensitivity on these instruments here because. Looking at this, it's possible those could be the uh, the uh, old faithful uh, doing our thing there. You know, with the uh, regular intervals of, of uh, the guys are shooting off. I don't know if it extends that long or not, but it looks like they may have adjusted some uh, some uh, equipment there on this more sensitive side to maybe pick those up. It's possible what's going on over here at Lake, Lake Yellowstone too. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, migration is in process in progress. As far as the earthquake swarm goes, as you can tell, uh, as you can tell, um, you know, more defined and darker. <coughs> excuse me. Um, man, I'm getting. I should have brought some water. But anyway, more defined earthquakes being uh, shown on this graph, which is closer to the to the uh, middle of the park, compared to what we were seeing in the past with the uh, uh, past earthquake swarm over here towards uh, YMC Station. Maple Creek. So, uh, anyway, we'll keep an eye on this as this is new development uh, with this uh, migration there on the uh, earthquake swarm at Yellowstone National Park. Taking a look at the rest of the globe here, uh, real quick. Um, let me grab a drink of water, real quick. I know this is an update video, but you know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures, and I need some water. Okay. That's a little bit better. Anyway, um, yeah, so take a look at the uh, Earthquake 3D map, the uh, most recent 2.5 and above. Last 24 hours for the most part here. Uh, you can still see the continued activity in California. A little bit of activity up in Washington, state of Washington, occurring with that 2.8. And take a look at that real quick and see exactly where this is located and situated here. Uh, 2.8 near Waterville, Washington. Let's take a look at the interactive map here and see what we got in this specific region here. Uh, uh, let's see, there's a Columbia River up there. Not for sure what's out there. Uh, I don't think there's any type of volcanic activity or any kind of mount or uh, yeah, any kind of dormant volcanoes or anything out there. Just just an earthquake, and like I say, something small, nothing big, but nonetheless an earthquake. Still uh, looks like activity up in the Alaska Aleutian Islands region. Older earthquake activity up here in uh, Japan and uh, extending down through the northwest corner or northwest portion of the Pacific Ring of Fire right there. The older earthquakes are in red, like this 4.9 is uh, probably going to drop off the map. It's a really dark red, uh, deep red. That's going to let you know that that's an older earthquake compared to this 4.8 right here. That's more. Uh, more of a recent one but not necessarily uh, really recent you're gonna see the white rings like this one here the 4.4 indicating a more recent earthquake and the green one green earthquake or a green ring I should say uh, indicating a more uh, recent earthquake there actually the most recent but uh, yeah some some more deep activity over in Chile region and uh, yeah, just a normal day here on planet Earth, it looks like. Nothing major, nothing really standing out to me except for this migration of uh, activity at Yellowstone National Park. And take a look at uh, the real-time seismograph state, or uh, real-time tremor detection system map here in the Pacific Northwest. Looks like it's picked up a little bit here. Uh, and this time in uh, Vancouver Island region see all these uh, red dots indicating epicenters of tremor detection that's slow slippage of the uh, region underneath the land here the Cascadia subduction zone which extends up here showing some movement um, let me go back here and check uh, let's check the real time again I know that it's let's check this one here let's go to the last 12 hours and see if we have any uh, okay so here's the last 12 I'm guessing the last 48 included the Van Vancouver ones. Yes, it did. So if we're looking at today's last 12 hours, most of the activity right now occurring in Northern California, Northwest California region. Um, 
actually quite a bit large cluster of activity there uh, four hours of trimmer being detected in this region here just south of the Oregon California border and uh, like I said these are not earthquakes these are basically uh, uh, slippage of the uh, plates down there you got this, uh, Juan de Fuca plate over here to the east or to the west I should say and the North American plate over here to the east I think that's correct I think I said that right didn't I okay anyway but uh, any, there's definitely some activity going on today uh, last six hours we can round it down a little bit more still show some activity uh, last three uh, definitely still continuing there with a couple more sporadic uh, trimmers being reported there but uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on it I'm gonna check out the uh, Lake Yellowstone seismograph station right now I'm gonna go ahead and include that onto uh, I think what I'm gonna do is get rid of the uh, Madison station up here the one that you're seeing on the top of the screen left top screen and include a more uh, local station there for this migration of the earthquake swarm there in Yellowstone National Park uh, definitely want to keep an eye on this and see uh, see what's going on there folks so anyway hopefully you guys had a great weekend it is Sunday and uh, time to wind down I guess we got the work week tomorrow and uh, anyway we'll chat at you guys a little bit later let's get this video up on the uh, channel there and uh, like I said stay safe Always have an earthquake plan, guys. Peace out.